just a couple of days ago, I shared a video about using the new asset browser in Blender, and I showed how you can save different assets and reuse them in other Blender files. And technically, you can also save actions or animations as assets. But when it comes to actually using them or applying them on rigs and objects, it just doesn't work. Other assets you can just drag and drop into the scene, but actions just stand there in the browser and there is nothing that you can do with them. But I found a relatively simple workaround, which I'm going to show you in a second. Shout out to XXERBEXX who shared this solution. They have a really awesome YouTube channel with a lot of Blender and Unreal tips. In their video, they even shared an add-on which lets you import FBX files from Mixamo and automatically turning them into animation assets in Blender. So definitely check out their video. I'll share a link in the description box. In my video, I'll just share some of my ideas for detailed information about using the asset library, you can watch my previous video, but TLDR, if you go to Edit Preferences, File Paths, you'll be able to set up a path to your assets library. Then if you create something and save it inside that special asset folder, right click on the thing that you want to make into an asset, mark as asset, now save this file and now if I open another file I'll find my new asset in the list and I'll be able to just drag and drop it into the scene. Now let's actually talk about animations. Here I have a couple of actions from Mixamo but I want to be clear that this is not about Mixamo. You can use an animation on any type of rig as long as you understand how Blender works. Because these are Mixamo armatures uh, I'll be able to apply these animations only to similar armatures with the same bone structure and bone names. If you save actions from a Rigify rig, you will only be able to apply them to other Rigify rigs. So as with any asset, the first step is to save this file into the asset folder. So I'll go to File, Save As, go to my asset folder, create a subfolder for animations and save it in here. And next we want to start saving our assets um, and let's create a field for the asset browser so that we see what is happening. So now we have three armatures and if we expand the details here, we'll see an animation field and here we can actually see the animation that is applied to this armature. So technically, again, I can right click on the animation and mark as asset. The asset will be saved. It's just that it is not usable later. So here's the workaround. Instead of marking the actual action as an asset, just mark the armature on which this action is applied as an asset. So I'm going to quickly rename these actions and armatures so that they make sense. Okay, so now all armatures and actions are named with the same name. Now I'm going to right click on each armature and mark it as asset. I already have a animations catalog, so I'm going to go to my unassigned stuff and just drag and drop them into the anims. Oh, and this is just Mixamo related, but, um, but the armatures have unapplied rotation, so I'm just going to select everything and control A and apply the rotation. Um, now I can save my file and open a completely empty scene, go to my asset library, go to my animations. And now if I drag and drop any of these um, animations, I'll drag and drop the full skeleton and it will be playing the respective animation. Now, I don't really need these armatures. It's just that um, the action is attached to them. So through the armature, I also bring in the action. So now if I switch to Dope Sheet Action Editor, I'll be able to apply each of these actions to any of the rigs. Now, if I have a character with the same bone structure, like the ninja here, uh, it is basically the same. I, ju I just need to rename the bones slightly. Again, that's not the, the point of the tutorial, but when I have a, a rig with the same structure, I can just apply these animations that I brought. 
Okay, then I can even delete these armatures and um, ideally you should enable fake user for each of these animations if you want to keep them in the file. So that's the basic approach. One obvious problem is that we don't have a preview for each of these actions and I'm going to suggest some workarounds for that. But before that I want to share another idea that may be interesting and that is if I go back to my animation library instead of having these three armatures I could actually open the NLA and an action editor and now I'm going to push down this drunk animation get one of the other ones happy push it down and the kick one and push it down now I can delete these other guys save my file that will automatically update the assets then I can create a new file and now if I just drag and drop this guy and go to an non-linear animation, you'll see that I imported these three animations at the same time. And this can be useful if you have a set of animations. Let's just pretend that all of these three animations are dancing animations. So this way you can just bring in your entire set of dancing animations with a single asset. All of the individual actions were brought through this NLA stack. So now if I go to the action editor, you'll see all of these actions here. I can enable them and enable false user and then I can even delete this armature and that will just leave my actions in DC. Now let's try to address the thumbnail issues. I'll get rid of this NLA stack um, and I'm going to set up things as it was um, before. So each armature will hold one individual animation. Now I'm going to clear this asset from the armature. So here's the workaround. I also showed it in the previous video, but if you mark the mesh that is attached to the armature as an asset, then the armature becomes a dependency for the mesh. So the mesh will bring in the armature and the armature will bring in the uh, action. So let me rename the meshes as well. Right, and now if I just mark these meshes as um, assets. You'll see that um, that generated assets and they have previews. If you don't like the preview, you can set the frame at a point where you like uh, how it looks and then just regenerate and the preview will be generated. Now I can save this file, maybe move these assets into the animation folder, save it, create a new file, Asset Browser, Anims, and, and now I can just drag and drop these guys into the scene. And that brought the mesh armature and actions. If I only want the actions, I can delete the meshes and armatures and just deal with the actions as I explained in the previous part. I'll go back to the blend file where I saved my animation assets. And now for the final approach, which you could say that it's the proper way to do things, but at the same time it can be time consuming, so, so it may not be very usable if you have hundreds of animations. Um, but I'm going to clear these assets. And now I'll select each armature and mesh pair, move them to a new collection. And now we can mark the collection itself as an asset. Organize, save the file, create a new file. If you're using the default append function of the drag and drop functionality, then you'll have to expand this setting here and disable instance and zero out the location. And that will place your animated asset into the scene. And doing it this way will also enable you to use the linking functionality, which I explained in the previous video. That's all I have. Again, shout out to XXERBEXX for this awesome idea and for all of his other content. Have a look at his stuff. As I mentioned, they also have this add-on. I haven't tested it, but it looks useful, so check it out.